Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back. This is Out of Creative. We back. We back. I know it's been a long time, but I had a lot of things going on. I have a very special guest, Johnny Gillespie. Johnny has a Johnny has charted on every chart. And um he's a very talented musician, Arthur. Um, and we got something very special to talk about today. He's got a patent for something that is going to change the game completely. How you doing, Johnny? I'm good. Thanks, Jamal. Thanks for having me, my man. Uh, yeah, dude, I, I got a patent for automated mixing with AI. AI. That's, that's huge. That's huge. So um, so what's the process of getting a patent for, for something like, like that? It's like a three-year process. Bro. Three years? Yeah. So what's going to be like the... Uh, so... I record a song, right? Yeah. So is this going to... Yeah. You're the gonna, AI is going to mix it. It's going to mix it. It's going to take the engineer out of the the game. Oh, man. That sucks. So Dr. Dre is going to lose his job? I mean, that's a producer, right? So, like, we got producing stuff in there, too, you know? But I don't want to give up all the, you know, the stuff that we're working on on that. But um, long story short, uh, COVID happened. AI was just, like kind of coming up you know and mm -hmm. we've we've discussed that in a previous interview yeah and so i just i just struck gold at the right time man you know right right place at the right time i mean i think it's a testimony for uh acting on your inklings is what i call them you know yeah so um will this do mixing and mastering yeah really yeah but mainly mixing. The patents on mixing. The patents on mixing. Right. Well, sometimes if a song's mixed really, really well, you don't really have to master it. No. Yeah. yeah. Especially in the digital era that we're in now with streaming, and things are not on tape and um CD or record. Yeah. Like um, is art is it gonna give you like the highest level quality sound? Uh. So, like I said, I, I mean um. You know, it's kind of in the infancy stage, you know, so it's not like fully there. I just got the patent. We're working on developing the company, raising money and all that stuff. But okay. the, the game plan's there, you know. I mean, I'd love to like give some more gems on it, but I, I can't yeah, right now. I got now. you. I got you. So um, you've written one book. What's the title of your first book? Uh, So it's uh, Quit Starving. Quit starving. Don't we... starve. Starve, I think. What was it? Oh, come on, Johnny. This Sorry, is man. Book. I'm more stoked about the brutally honest one. Like, this this, this one is, is called Don't Starve. This is Johnny's first book. And it's um, Don't Starve, How to Survive While Building a Brand. This is a very good book. I've read it. Just forgot the title real quick. Yeah, my it's bad. It's been a while. Been a while. I worked on this new one called uh, Brutally Honest. And what's Brutally Honest about? Um... So, like, it was just all my airs in the music industry, and I put game on to people. So, like, don't take the, the shortcuts, you know? And um, what what it entails is basically uh, if it takes you 10 years to acquire a skill, mm -hmm. don't skip the steps, you know? Like, there's a, step A to be a master at something, and then there's step B, and then there's step C, and then you fully, like, are encompassed a master at what it is, right? And... If you skip step B and you pay somebody to be the step B and you go all the way to C, you're going to do yourself a disservice because yeah. you're not learning the whole thing. And then when step B goes away, then you're effed. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Without the E. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got yeah. you. I got you. Um, so let's let's go back to uh, charting. All what, what charts have you been on? Uh, pop. I've been on um, all albums. I hit eighty on all albums on iTunes charts. I hit eleven on the pop charts. Uh, EDM. I hit number two. Reggae. I hit four. Um, I think that's about it right now. That's about it. Are you yeah. still um? Are you still doing shows? No, no, no. I put on some weight. You know, I, I've been working on a record. <laughs> you know, eating well. You know, hanging out with the fam bam and. My little girl that just turned three, it's been wow. fucking awesome. So Congratulations. I know that's a handful. Yeah. So will this will this which book will take you on the journey on how to like start charting and things of that nature? So 
this this one's gonna tell you you know like just do it right mm -hmm. but there were short there were shortcuts that i took in this book so i wouldn't take those shortcuts mm -hmm. um if i was being brutally honest which i put the book brutally honest out um it's it's basically how to 10x your music career by being honest right like mm -hmm. people can smell bs and um and when you're honest um with your work ethic your music it, it comes across like a lot better you're more genuine and you're more serene and what are beautiful. what are some of the things that you've encountered that that you would tell people to watch out for in the industry yeah man like i i got uh I got screwed a couple times in the music industry. Um, Anybody we know? No, 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 no. But you know that in that book, I, I talk about this gentleman um, that did that did me wrong. You know, but I, I left him nameless, and I could have mm -hmm. put him on blast, right? Mm -hmm. Point was, is uh, the guy uh, sold me a deal that he was going to get me signed to Warner Brothers, and uh, I gave him like ten thousand dollars for a sub sub uh sub label uh part of ada warner brothers and um gave him ten thousand dollars and the guy came the next day with a brand new camaro oh wow so he literally spent my money and then he shelved the band <sighs> so you know just you just watch you know if people are asking for your money real quick and they're pushy about the money real quick you know i would i would definitely run yeah definitely yeah, that's not a good idea. And they, and it was like, and they <laughs> like prayed, they prayed, they they prayed on me, dude. Like, you know, they were like, sell me a pipe dream, and, and that's all I ever wanted. And uh, I just wanted to make it big. And This is a show things. called Drink Champs, and they always ask this question, independent or major? Uh, Man, I don't know. Like, whatever you feel like, you, you know, like I would say independent if you got a lot of money and, and you're down for the ride and investing in yourself. I know right now major labels are giving you 360 deals. Yeah, those are so, so basically, like, they'll give you all the money up front, but then they'll own you for a long period of time, you know? Yeah, those yeah, those, those 360 deals, uh, they, they, everything from your show money to your merchandise, correct? Everything. Yeah, that's not cool. Yeah, like, that's they'll give you, cool. they'll give you the loan and just enough to live, you know? Yeah. So, and so um, you pay it back and then you're, you know. Well, everybody is an artist. You know, some people just are just passionate about their art, but you also have to eat. Um, do you have any advice on? Well, that's why I got my patent, right? You know, because mm -hmm. like, I was like, I'm I'm tired of paying engineers a lot of money to sound great. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of out of a, like a resentment that I got the patent, to be honest, because I wanted to level the playing field for artists that couldn't afford a big mix you know like so so this will be mixing at a budget i take it is it is it yeah it's gonna be like a subscription base okay yeah okay. so like so like people that mess with like splice and stuff like that you know it's like uh it's gonna take that and then give it to everybody that wants to sound good like if you're a good artist you're gonna be polished really good okay wow so how do you go about obtaining the technology to do that like technology is there it's, i got the patent mm -hmm. and the technology developed like as i got the patent who's writing code for this thing going i mean dude you know that's kind of underneath the radar right now yeah I'm just, I'm just saying like the vision was to give it back to the artist you know because mm -hmm. i felt like it was so like it was just messed up, you know, like if, if you're a good artist and you don't have money and you can't make yourself polished then how do you even see a chance? This is true. So do you, do you think this will totally wipe out the sound engineer? No, but we're going to give them an opportunity to work with us. You know? Okay. You know, are there any, any people like, I know that's why I mentioned Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre is a producer, but he's also, uh, an engineer yeah super super engineer and also dj quick are you gonna reach out to any of these people to um i mean you're like you're digging in on this patent i love it dude <laughs> but i can't do anything like i can't really talk about it until it's like fully done you know like i okay. can say you know uh what the patent is because it's public domain so if you want to look it up it's 11 92 okay on the well, on the USPTO website, if you want to check it out. Okay. 
I'm I'm just I'm just trying to figure out like how are you gonna how are you gonna do it to where like will it be like hmm this is this is a difficult one because I'm I make music you yeah. know and yeah. I track out tracks and this yeah. and that and vocals and the whole nine so yeah. I'm like if I drop this into a program or yeah. an app to mix it for me like how will this sound and. Like I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how AI is gonna be my Dr. Dre. Well, you got to give AI information. It's got a model. It's got to model and emulate all the different artists out there, and then it will come to. I mean, like let's like let's go back. AI is gonna be better than a doctor based on the data that they have. Yeah. You know, so like, how could it not be better at mixing eventually? So, all right, it's like. But what you're a, gonna have that like human aspect on it, so you can put that extra f touch that gives it that okay. that thing to make it. So if your snare is not right, you can fix your snare. Yeah. Or you, okay. Yeah. So AI is basically just the all right. Do let's it quick. Get this, let's yeah, get it quick. Let's get it quick, let's and save, then you could come back. Let's and, save time, man. Time okay. is money, right? Okay. You got three commodities: time, treasure, and talent, right? Mm -hmm. So take the time and invest in your talent so you can get the money, dude. Yeah. All right. Th this makes sense. This makes sense. Are you gonna um drop any of your old projects back into this to see no, what you can no, make them sound no, like? No, I'm just moving forward, man. Moving forward. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I'm working on a new project with uh, Voodoo Child Studios right now and uh, Casey Sullivan with Seedless. Um, it's going to be a 12 track album. I'm really hyped about it. It's going to be called a uh, better life mm -hmm. and just a really positive album, dude. And, um, super grateful for the guys that have been working with me, pushing me on my writing abilities and it's been awesome. Oh yeah. I just confirmed a little earlier that Jamal Brown, your boy right here will be, um, Working on an EP with Johnny Gillespie. Let's I go, just want to get go. back in the mix. Let's go. I already, we already said, I it's a go. We gonna go. So I'm gonna have some new music coming out within the next few months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get back on the scene. Shoot some videos. We gotta get on some videos. Yeah, we gotta yeah. get on some videos, bro. He's definitely got the equipment. To... He's got the setup. You know, he's got the personality. The spot. Yeah, physique, dude. I'm selling this guy right here, dude. You want <laughs> I the creative on your team, dude. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Like, we we gonna make some things happen this go round. I was uh super excited when you you shot me the text like, tell your mom, tell your grandma, I got this patent, and I was just I was just extremely curious, like how who's gonna be hurt behind this pat and have you talked to anybody who's been like uh oh man why are you doing something like that <laughs> yeah we have people like it's gonna ruin the industry bro <laughs> yeah for sure but you know um i partnered up with uh clinton sparks he's he's in and on it you know mm -hmm. and uh he's a big guy in the industry and um you know that was methodical right to build that relationship you know it's not like burning your bridges like it's like being brutally honest like the guy asked me a while, I think I shared this last time, but if I didn't, the point was is that, you know, he, I won like $500 on his Twitch show, right? Mm -hmm. And then he's like, do you want the $500? And he's like, beep, 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 Johnny won $500. And I was like, no, nah, I don't want the $500. He's like, what do you mean you don't want the $500? And I was like, dude, I want an hour of your time. Oh, see, so yeah, that was a smart move. <laughs> yeah, that's what that everybody says, move. dude. But it just means, you have music with this gentleman, right? I don't have music with the guy. Do you want to? Yeah. 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 But you gotta get with I him. think like the the bigger play here is like having somebody behind you that's in the industry that's gonna co sign the patent. Mm -hmm. You know, and be a a partner in, in the patent and you know, take it and change the game, dude. We're He's all about innovation. I respect the guy so much, dude. Like I look up to him as like a mentor, you know, and so Dude, like if you if you ain't innovating, you out, you know? I have to do some more research on sound engineers. I I was taught mixing by a gentleman named Phil Allen. Okay. Phil has a, a Grammy, I think, for pink for mixing. 
Okay. So I would love, love to get in contact with Phil. I, I'll probably see him in the next few weeks or so. I want, I'm going to get an interview in on him, but I just want to understand how this would make him feel, you know, because It'd that's... probably make him feel un, like like really weird, bro, you know, like <laughs> like some little, like young guy, you know, with a master's degree, you know, mm-hmm. is coming in and swooping up, dude. I'm going to be that Rockefeller <laughs> in the industry. I'm going big all the way, man. I'm throwing it out. Nah, I'm sorry, Phil. Like... I still remember. Yo, this guy is excellent. Like, I learned a lot about mixing. I just took a class on it because cause that is the most integral part of the song is that mix. Like, just getting getting that mix right. You could be the greatest lyricist. You could be the greatest songwriter. You could be the greatest guitar player. But when that final cut sounds off because this is too loud or it's just not smooth, a smooth run all the way through... That's horrible. It makes for a horrible song. Like, that really makes or breaks your project. Yeah. I mean, like I said, you know, surround yourself with winners and um, and you'll win, dude. You know, so like win big. I learned that from Clinton Sparks. I learned that from my boy Matt Leonard at Voodoo Child Studios, Casey Sullivan. You know, and I just, I surround myself by like a team such as yourself, you know, um, that uh, that empowers me, you know. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, um, I'm extremely motivated at this point right now. Um, uh, are you working with any new artists right now? No, no, nope. other than Jamal. All right, yeah. Well, I'm not a new, but you know, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, no, I've been selfish, dude. I've been working on my own stuff. You know, like I got uh, like some artists that I worked on in the past, but um, I've been selfish. You know, it's like been family. You know, music and uh, working on this patent in my day job, which is, uh, you know, uh, pushing some co- contracting for insurance. Yeah, well, you got to make you got to make your dollars. And yeah. I think in. Don't quit your day job. Yeah, this one. Don't quit your day job. Don't quit your day job. Um, Every I've I've made this mistake in the past when I was younger, man. I'm going to do music and I'm not going to do anything else. And what I did was spend a lot of time doing nothing. (laughs) Hours that I could have been like uh, working or doing something. I was doing absolutely nothing. I wasn't recording. I wasn't writing. I was just kind of, I would call it lazy a little bit at this point. You know, I was just loafing around using entertainment Oh yeah, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna do this, and uh, it wasn't happening. So, especially in today's economy, you got to make all of this stuff work. Like I'm working on a new movie. I'm taking some classes, lighting for emotional impact at UCLA. Like I'm moving around and and, and trying to do the thing. But on this go, I'm working. <laughs> I'm working, and I'm hustling up everything that I can. Everything I could do and just making time, I just won't stop. So try taking this book out of my hand. Mm -hmm. No trying, bro. It's only doing. Yeah, it's only doing. Yeah, I only. uh, Yeah, it's right. I'm doing everything. You're (laughs) doing it. I'm doing it. You're doing it, dude. That's being brutally honest, right? And so I guess the point that I was making in this book is like, no matter what, go 100%. Be honest, you know, if you don't want to do something, don't do it, Mm -hmm. you know, like, and, and just double down on everything that like feels right. Follow your inklings. Like, that's how I got a patent, bro. Gotcha. Really? You know, like you get those grandiose ideas and you're like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Do it tomorrow. It's just, but then you act on it quick, right? Like Mm -hmm. I was like, dude, I'm going to go hit the gym tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. I did it. I gained some weight, bro, yeah. you know, and now I'm getting back into it. But, you know, point is, is like if I put it off, those inklings that come to you are there for a reason. You got to like double down on them like right then and there or else somebody's going to beat you to the punch. Yeah, this is true. This is a extremely interesting concept you have here. I'm I'm. I just wish that I could pull it up right now and see how this thing yeah, works. It will in a couple of times, a Be- couple of months, you know, a few months. Because I have some old material that I would like to run through there and see okay. see what happens. Yeah, I'm sure everybody's like waiting for this big thing. Yeah, so I, I want a demonstration. 
when we put it out, it's got to be 100% good. Yeah, it's got to be good. Yeah, so we're not talking about like like a little thing. We're talking about raising a lot of money, and I don't want to say it on the, the camera, but... No, I got you. Yeah. I got you. Because it's got to be that good. It's not a GoFundMe, right? Or no, is it? What no. is it? No, uh, we got a, we got a C-Corp, you know, and we're, mm-hmm. we're getting it funded, and then we're going to okay. put the patent underneath the C-Corp. That's another discussion. Yeah, we'll talk about that on another time. Yeah. So, are you the soul soul guy, or you have other people who who put in? I'm the soul guy. You're the soul guy. Yeah. All right, man. We got to I gotta give you a few dollars. I need in, bro. Yeah, I need yeah. in. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. So, um, you know, because um, this is a, a game changer, a hundred percent, because. It's a, I, 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 I feel like that is <laughs> the next step, bro. That is like 30% of your song is the quality. I, le- I would argue the fact I would say that it's probably about like 50% of the song, 40% good, like the music and the, mm-hmm. and the vocals. But if your mix does not sound good. It's out, and yeah. then and then there's the extra ten percent that you could have done better on any little part, uh, and and plus the master, right? So because that's why I mentioned Dr. Dre and DJ Quick. It's, in hip hop, I would say those dudes have like the cleanest sounding music, right? The clean, right? Is it gonna match that? level of Christmas. I you know I I'm going to I'm going to say that we're going to go there. We're going to go there, but so um, are you going to um but I can't tell all the secrets on the No, no, I right got now. you. I got you. Are you familiar with um some different sound designers? Like yeah. not sound like mix like engineers, engineers yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like do you have some some yeah, favorites? Yeah, I got my chief I got my chief uh, sound engineer Matthew Leonard that works at Voodoo Child uh, Studios up in Santa Ana, and uh, he's he's helping develop it with me. So okay, yeah. Do you have any favorite engineers that are known industry wide? No, no. I live in a box, bro. I live mm-hmm. in a box, and I think it's good because I get input, you know, and I stay out of the external. Uh, algorithm you know and, uh, <laughs> and i just do what feels good and i follow my inklings i'm plugged in that way you know and then uh you know when i need to plug into algorithms there's other people that have been there yeah so i just plug into them and they feed me the information that i need to know and when i need to disconnect to disconnect and back out of the Phil matrix. allen we gonna get with you because i know that his his mixing is superb I cool. think you really need to meet him. Cool. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Phil's over in San Clemente. Cool. I see him sometime over there with cool. his kid. But that the guy's excellent. He's Grammy Award winner. And Let's go, Phil, Phil. We need you on Let's this show, go, Phil. Yep. Because I, I I I really would like to have you guys sit down together. He yeah. might jump up and try to attack you. I know. I know. <laughs> because, I'm gonna need some security soon. Because you are. Uh, I mean, I wonder how many jobs could be lost. Not that, not saying what you're doing is wrong. It's not wrong. It's actually good and it's innovative. But I'm just well, like, it's wrong for. Okay, it's like this, dude. It, it's like, it's like a coin toss, right? Mm-hmm. How many more artists are there than engineers? Oh yeah, it's a whole lot of artists. So do, if I gave the artists more of the the stuff than the engineers and then the, and work with the engineers to work with the artists do you think that that feeds more people well i'll tell you what there's still people who are going to run to certain engineers yeah 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 so yeah this is this is for but eventually the the technology is going to emulate yeah. you and le- like if you want to leave a legacy as an engineer come find me Mm-hmm. Because we'll emulate you, and you can leave a legacy. Because life is short, man. You know. And so, so once you're dead, yeah. So we're not gonna can... we're not gonna be able to know all your tools and secrets. So why not leave that with something that could be timeless? Yeah, we got to reach out to some some of these greats. Yeah, yeah. I really wanna. I'm really interested now more so than when I first heard about it. I thought it was a dope 
concept. I said, damn, it's going to be some angry people. Oh, there are. There are. I'm sure there are. But they're not angry. At, they're not going to be as angry as they are until we drop. You know? But you know what? I think it sounds similar to buying those packs, those sound packs. We yeah. get like a Dr. Dre sounds up. We could do Prodigy that. We from could do Mob that. Deep. I'm not saying yes or, or no. Or Havoc. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That's what Splice is, basically. Splice he, is just a chopper. Yeah, Jamal. I'm, I'm still... He's trying to he's trying to dig in, you know, and yeah. get all the inside <laughs> scoop. And I'm like, dude, I gotta I gotta hold my bounds. I I'm still like um a hands on kind of person. That's why I still got the records. So yeah, I get, it. I get like, it. Those are those are some sick records over there, by it, the way. I just I just try to. It's just something about that physical touch, like splice and all that stuff is cool, but it's just I feel like that stuff is for like on the go. Well. I mean, this day and age, you got like a attention span of seventeen seconds. Yeah, I was got, thinking got, about that too. You got too. like three seconds to hook somebody. Three seconds. Mm-hmm. If you're not hooked. You're gone, dude. You like swipe, swipe, swipe. No, like, you know, yeah, that's how I, we we live. I've noticed a few artists have been putting out projects lately. I think LL put out a project. Rakim put out a project, and. They put out the projects. If I'm not mistaken, when I was looking at the release, I said, this is a traditional way of releasing. Like, release a single, then you got an album release date. I said, I think they're trying to do something. Like, I think they're trying to reverse. Yeah, reverse. <laughs> reverse. Yeah, there's no way. Like a reverse strategy. Like, yeah. I'm still going to do it this way, build up into... I think Rakim did really well. Look. When you get a chance, I look it up. Yeah, he did really well. I think he had charted pretty high on everything. No, no number ones like number two, number six, number this, number that. Hey man, like if you chart, that's good. I mean, that's kind of where it's at in the same age. Right? But also, I have to look at those particular artists and who their actual fans are. So their fan base aren't these new kids, the microwave kids. Their fan base are people. Who are used to like that single drop in, then a month later the album's coming out. They kind of man. I mean, like that seems like uh, like a generation that's like getting older, right? You know, and then yeah. the young bucks they they got such a short attention span. They'll like, forget you got an album coming out yeah, after they like, hear the oh, I'm on to the next guy that just like went viral on TikTok. You know, yeah. Like, unfortunately, that's where it's at, man. You know, you got to keep pushing and pushing. Like, um, I'm excited to have you back. For, to help me relaunch I'm still building My studio out So Good. So um And I'll still be taking the show on the road Going to different creatives in Different places Cause yeah. I just think uh Having guests like you is super yeah. important Innovative people People who are not necessarily Like the most famous person in the world But the guy who is um Who's making his mark In his niche and making things happen. And this uh being a producer, songwriter, author, and now um patent holder. Yeah, a patent holder to um to unjob engineers all across the world. <laughs> I'm gonna work with them. We're gonna work together. We're gonna be good. I'm just, yeah. I'm just messing around. I could be that guy, dude. You know, yeah. but hey, if it happens, you know, I'm sorry, dude. I won't no, tell you no. my address. When, but... when you uh, when you explained it, like, actually, this will be a way to enhance for engineers. Like, um, if yeah. you are like a, I even say you feel a Phil Allen or something. So the AI would be able to like copy your your style. Of mixing, and maybe somebody could pick you as like a preset. Good, like that. Yeah, you said I need to stop asking these questions, right? I'm I'm trying to get in there. Like he's trying to get in my mind, man. But it's like boxed off, right? You know. So we'll talk off camera, but yeah, because um, yeah, I'm blown away, man, and I'm extremely proud of you. I've been. Thank you, bro. Since our last interview, which, well, I'll release it. It hasn't been released, but when I heard this, I said, I got to get you back, man. And I appreciate you coming through. 
For sure. This is uh this is great. And what we'll do is we're gonna drop this EP. Podcast a, first. Podcast EP first, second. EP second. Let's go. And um I might well, I'm definitely gonna do another film and I'll need a soundtrack for that. Cool. Yeah, so let's go, bro. Yeah, we can we can get together on that. Cause I'm I'm getting back on in all lanes, man. I'm swerving all over the place. Hey, just man, making it happen. You know, it's all good, bro. You know, just as long as uh you know, you do what makes you happy and Yeah. You know what my your dream you. is to live out my dream. <laughs> Yeah, but make your dream into reality, bro. Dream into reality, definitely. That's what you do. You pull it from the ether, and then you, you try to take this out of my hand. Took it. No it's trying. Done. Only doing. Oops. I'm going to turn it. Only doing. Dude. Brutally honest. Don't you can. Where can you pick these up at? Amazon. What are your socials? Uh, at Johnny G Sounds. I just started a new IG. Uh, still got uh, at Johnny G Music. And then I got John Gillespie Music dot com. Okay. And you can find the books on that website. So yep. Thank you. Johnny, I'm not gonna hold you up right now. We gotta get more in depth at a later date. Yeah. After we get some of these. When things I launch, bro, I'll tell you all the lowdown. I'll come when, do it. When you I'll do launch, one. I need to be the first person that you I gotta have the exclusive because that's gonna be something major. When this launches this will be a game changer for people who make music 100%. Like, there's there's no denying it. This will be something that is revolutionary and kind of scary for you engineers. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good for you artists, so let's yeah, go, bro. I'm ready to rock because um, that is just, yeah, like I keep keep saying, like, that is such a major part. If and if you have a really good mix, a really good mix, it really lets you know if this guy's a crappy artist or not. Because if you suck and you got a super hot mix and everything's good, you got a good track and everything's all right and that mix is perfect and your song is trash, you're just trash, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Or you know, it's uh it's an opportunity for engineers to step up their game and just really enhance Yep. You know, and win. And just win, dude. Well, you know, a lot of times that uh that initial mix like that that just that mix just before it's mix mix. You know, just that levels. Let's get the levels right. Sometimes that's all you really need in to enhance it. You need to at least get the levels right first. So um I, I ain't going to ask. He's going to keep on asking about this patent. He's like stoked, you know, but I'm yeah. stoked too, but I can't, I can't, I can't say anything until it's, you know, there. So, but I'm happy that this patent is out there. I'm happy that you got it. And I'm happy that, uh, you've, um, transitioned into technology like that because you were telling me about AI prior to this, but, with splice and all of these different things out there, that is just that is bananas. super awesome. It's bananas. Yeah, it's bananas. Yeah. It's bananas. I'm happy to know this gentleman. Um, thank you for giving me this interview with this with the scoop. So you heard it here first at Ida Creative. Ida Creative. You heard it here first. This man has a patent on AI mixing. And AI is huge right now and everything. So it's like 92, 90, 98 on your USPTO website if you want to look it up. Look it up. Uh if you a mixer, get at me. You um I'm gonna be putting up our socials and stuff like that. But thank you for joining us. This is Johnny Gillespie with your boy Jamal Brown. This is out of creative and we'll be back with more episodes with more innovative creatives. Thanks. Word. My man. Yeah.